and welcome. My name is Melinda Hart. You are watching Stamping with Hart. You can find more information about today's video on my blog at www.stampingwithheart.blogspot.com. Today's video is going to be uh, a little bit of a showcase of all of the annual catalog designer series papers. The first shout out is to friend and fellow demonstrator Roberta Timmons. Um, her, she also is a demonstrator. She has a channel on YouTube. She also has a Facebook page. Um, her last name is Timmons, T-I-M-M-O-N-S. Uh, she and I are in the same demonstrator group together and we check in with each other. Um, and I was having a rough week and to cheer me up, she decided to surprise me with a paper share pack from the annual catalog. Um, which was absolutely just so sweet. And it was also showing me uh, how she has done paper shares, which I have not tried yet. And it totally convinced me, you guys, I am going to have to start doing paper shares. Um, so I just wanted to really, really thank her because I know how much time and energy and work she put into this. And she knew I was having a rough week and she just wanted to cheer me up. So I just, that was just so, so sweet of her. Um, she, the way that she cut all of her papers, labeled everything, put the coordinating colors on everything. It looks absolutely incredible. So, um, it was so much fun to kind of dig into this. And as I was going through those paper packs, I thought to myself, well, what a great idea to kind of showcase all of these papers in a video with a card. Um, so I was trying to figure out the best way to do that. And I came across this video from um, Karen Titus. Uh, she has a, a channel called Stamping on the Back Porch. And she had this simple fun fold and she was showing off the different designer series paper. And I wanted to give her a shout out because I, I literally got this idea from her. I thought it was so great that I wanted to give it a go myself, but with the new um, annual catalog, uh, designer series paper. Now I will have all of the measurements that you will need for this card layout on my blog. Um, but what you're going to do is the typical card size. So you're going to do five and a half by eight and a half. You're going to score it at four and a quarter inches. The, um, the extra step that will happen with this fun fold is you're going to cut one inch off of the side of the card so that you're gonna have a one by five and a half piece. And then your card you'll see as it's sitting there is slightly, you know, it, it's, a, it's not a perfect close, it's a little bit shorter. And you're gonna take that one inch piece, you're gonna score it at the half point, um, you're gonna trim off a little bit of the excess and you're gonna glue it down underneath your layer on the inside of the card and then dress it up with this, I use the layering circle dies. So I used a scalloped um, circle and then a slightly smaller um, regular circle from the layering circle dies on every single card. So the other two things that you're gonna need are a piece of designer series paper. Uh, doesn't matter if it's six by six or 12 by 12. And you're gonna need a piece of basic white cardstock. Um, you're going to cut both the designer series paper and the basic white cardstock to four by five and a quarter inches. Uh, but with the designer series paper piece, you're also going to trim an inch off. So it's going to become three inches um, by five and a quarter and then one inch by five and a quarter. And you're going to lay the three inch piece on the top of the card and you're going to lay the one inch strip on the opposite side, so the opposite pattern, because all of this designer series paper is double-sided, on the edge of your card. And then you're gonna do your very simple stamping on your layering circle die, the die cut, um, and we're gonna use basic white for that as well. And then you're gonna go ahead and assemble your card. So here, um, using Abigail Rose, I always reference the coordinating colors. So in this case, I chose Petal Pink and Early Espresso um, for this particular card. Now, I really kept the majority of my cards without embellishments, like they're clean and they're flat. But just to give you an idea of embellishments that would um, match, I did put these on um, here. So 
I'll, I'll put the name up on the screen of what that actual embellishment pack is. So I did two different layouts um, with the Abigail Rose paper pack. Now here is Butterfly Kisses. Um, this is a bold, bright designer series paper pack. Really, really fun. Lots of different size um, butterflies and patterns. Um, I love the, the reverse sides and that they're more um, like typical patterns as opposed to the butterfly or the floral patterns. So really, really nice for this type of a card layout. Um, and you can see what I did with that one. I also made two layouts here. So the concept uh, that I was working with when I was doing this on my live was that I had the sample card to show and then we put a card together um, on the live. And I, I ended up doing that with five cards on the live and I decided to pre-record myself filming the majority of the rest of them because I had quite a few um, designer series paper packs to get through. So that's what you're gonna see here. So this is that basic white piece being laid down. And then you're gonna put that three by five and a quarter inch piece of designer series paper on the front of the card here. And you're gonna put that other strip, the opposite pattern, along the edge where you're seeing that basic white. So really, really easy, manageable, fun fold, which was what I was definitely looking for for this particular um, you know, process. So it's really fun to do really big and fancy cards. But when you are working through um, a paper share, for example, like if you get multiple pack, you know, multiple packs, multiple, different themes for cards and you th and you think to yourself, I have like, you know, I have an hour, I have two hours, I think I'm just going to bang out a bunch of cards. Whenever you need to do something like that, it is so fun to kind of get in the zone. So as long as you have a coordinating, you know, um, card stock piece, and I know that a lot of people, you know, they really like to kind of stick to either basic white or very vanilla for their card bases for all of their card bases. And then they just add those pops of color with either designer series paper or with layers of cardstock. If that's you, um, go for it. You know, this card base that I chose is actually in Parakeet Party. Um, so this is one of those new designer series papers and in colors um, from Stampin' Up. Now here we have the He's the Man designer series paper. And this actually has quite a few themes in it. Um, you know, overall masculine theme, but there's outdoors, there's, um, so there's kind of like the camping theme, there's cooking themes in this paper. Um, there's kind of like the professional and the fun because there's ties and there's sunglasses and, uh, you know, you, you definitely have, there's plaid in there. Uh, so you definitely have a, a different variety to work with. There's even like vintage cars, right? So um, this one has a lot of great colors that I don't get to work with all the time. Uh, this was soft succulent, um, early espresso, and basic white was the color combo for the first card. Um, and then for the second card, I believe I brought in, I used early espresso for the card base, um, but I think that it has a pop of Cajun craze if, if I am correct. Um, yeah, and I ended up going with the vintage car for that other piece. So here you can see that little, um, that leftover piece that we cut off. So that one inch that we trimmed off of the edge of the card, you're just going to trim that down and adhere it to the card just, just like this. You hide that little tab um, that's left over on the back of the card with this piece of basic white. And then, of course, you're just going to add your designer series paper like you did with the rest. Um, so that is the basis for making this card layout. You're just going to have some fun um, working with all of the different paper packs, but you can get a bunch of cards uh, fairly quickly. So while I am assembling these cards, um, I'm going to kind of go back and forth between the designer series paper being used and the coordinating colors 
And I want to talk about um, the offer that Stampin' Up! has in the month of May with the starter kit. It is called the In Color Starter Kit. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you have most likely heard of this because I've been talking about it quite a lot. Um, if you're new to my channel, let me just walk you through a little bit of what the In Color Starter Kit is. It's called Perfectly Penciled Designer Series Paper. And even though I think that this paper is screaming for color, um, you know, for anybody who enjoys coloring in whatever way you prefer to color, um, you know, stamp and blends, what have you, I decided to stay true to the Designer Series Paper for the, for the card and try to keep it on the simpler side. Uh, and I kept it with black and white. So, and you can see it's stunning in black and white. Um, I tend to gravitate towards coloring. So for me and my eye, I really want to color those flowers, but I kept it black and white and it is absolutely stunning. If you like working with color themes, if you like working with black and white, you're absolutely going to love this designer series paper pack. Okay. So let me go ahead and jump back into what you get with the in color starter kit. The in color starter kit is just like our regular kit, but with lots of extra goodies in it in the month of May. So our typical starter kit from Stampin' Up! is $125 worth of product that you want from the new catalog or from your wish list. And then you only pay $99 um, and you also get free shipping on your starter kit. The $99 is before tax. Um, and that's, that's a great deal. You get $26 in savings and you get free shipping on some pretty heavy products. So, um, it's, it's a great deal. You also get, you know, benefits as a demonstrator of getting 20% off first look at new catalogs first, you know, opportunity to order new products before it launches to the public. Um, there's lots of inspiration that happens behind the scenes and demonstrator Facebook groups. Uh, so th there's a lot going on there. And of course, you are not required to sell. So that's kind of like the standard, um, you know, starter kit and conversation that I have with people. Now, this month is what, from what I've seen, the best offer um, that I've ever seen on a starter kit. And in this month, the month of May, you can actually get an additional $66.50 in product on top of the 125 that you chose and paid 99 for. So you're still only paying 99, but on top of that 125 that you chose, you're getting another 6650 in product. You are getting the um, in color ink pads, you're getting the cardstock, you're getting the designer series paper, and you're getting the grid paper. Um, and really quick, uh, let me go back to the card here for a moment. So isn't this paper gorgeous, stunning combination of blues and gray? Uh, this is a gray granite card base here. And this designer series paper is called, I don't know them all offhand. Let me look this up real quick. <laughs> this designer series paper is called Sun Prints. Absolutely stunning. Um, and I'm stamping with Starry Sky. And this is the Cup of Tea stamp set that I am using um, for this particular product. But if you do have the coordinating um, products that go with your designer series paper, of course, go ahead and use that. Um, I'm just working with what I have here on hand. Okay, so in terms of that starter kit, um, it, it's an absolutely incredible value. And some of the first products that people buy from the new annual catalog is that in color product. So to be able to get four of those in color items, uh, staple mm -hmm. items for free in your starter kit, um, in addition to the value is incredible. So when you add that up, you're getting $191.50 in product value for $99. And on top of that, you're getting free shipping. And on top of that, as a demonstrator, you get to save 20% on all of your orders. Um, and that's absolutely incredible. Now, if you decide that after you purchase your starter kit and you don't want to continue being a demonstrator, you can go back to being a regular customer. That is okay. 
Um, and that's what happens. You just go back to being a regular customer. So if you don't, you know, if you don't want to keep going or you don't want to meet your quarterly minimums or things like that, you don't have to do that. Um, but a lot of people do join for the hobby discounts. So the majority of Stampin' Up! demonstrators out there actually join for the hobby and for, you know, the discount and the perks of being able to get the catalog first and get the product orders in first. Um, so and it's a lot of fun, honestly. And there are different things that you can participate in if you want to, and you don't have to participate in anything if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you. Um, but you're never going to know unless you join. Uh, and I know people who have joined and left, and then if they see an incredible starter kit, then they join again. Um, so it's entirely up to you. I can tell you when I saw the starter kit value, I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. And I'm already a demonstrator. <laughs> so I think it's an absolutely incredible deal. Um, so the paper that I'm showing here is called Lovely in Linen. Now, when you're seeing a paper share, typically everything has been cut down to six by six. Oh, and this is the Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper. Is that stunning? Oh my goodness, that's one of my favorites. Uh, this one is called A Wash in Beauty. Oh my goodness, floral friends, you are going to absolutely love this paper. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Uh, love the color combinations on this too. And a little bit unexpected seeing all of those blues with the pinks and the purples. Um, I think that that's Mary Merlot actually. And it's really stunning. Now this is a favorite. And I've heard that this is a favorite amongst many, including my friend Roberta. Uh, so this is called Forest Friends. And how cute is this designer series paper pack? Oh my goodness. Um, a lot of these designer series paper packs are originally 12 by 12, but have been trimmed down to six by six for the paper share. Okay, so this is the Forest Friends card that I am making. I actually made uh, two different versions. I did one with the animals, uh, the animal print, and I did one of just sort of the leaf print. And I actually love the way that they both turned out. So the color combination that I chose was Old Olive and Calypso Coral um, to go with the Forest Friends paper, which of course they are coordinating colors. Um, one thing that you're going to notice whenever you start doing a, a lot of cards in the same layout is that you're going to need a lot of pieces. And, you know, while you can pre-cut, you know, 30 or 40 circles if you need to in basic white, um, I kept changing up my scalloped layer color. Uh, so I was just kind of bringing in and out my stamp and cut and emboss machine as I went along. Um, so you may find yourself doing that or not. And with this, with the size of the scallop circle and the regular circle that I used, they will actually fit in your mini stamp and cut and emboss machine too. So it would be fine regardless um, of which machine you wanted to use. But you're kind of seeing me doing a little bit more of the assembly line work at this point where I needed to trim out a bunch more circles. You can see my workspace was getting a little cluttered up because I was using so many different stamps and stamp sets. Um, I was using up all of my blocks. I ended up having a really big stack of the ink pads. And that's when you know, you know, you're kind of in uh, your best mode there. So I typically use my paper trimmer um, to cut and score all of my cardstock, but I was doing so many cards, you guys, that I decided to bring out my heavy cutter. Um, so I was still using my paper trimmer to score, but I decided to use my hefty duty um, paper cutter to do some of the heavy cutting for me. I was just doing so much cutting. Um, all in all, let me see how many cards I ended up with. Um, I'll, I'll count them out here before the end of the video. Um, but right now you're seeing me kind of work through trimming down that card base. Um, this is that piece that's going to fold over um, on our card. So I am scoring those at the two and three quarter inch mark and then just trimming the one side down so that we don't have a lot of bulk underneath that basic white layer on the inside of our card. Um, you can trim it, you know, you can trim it down, you can cut it, you can tear it, what, whatever you want because you're not going to see it. But 
Um, here I'm doing a little bit more assembly line work, cutting out those four by five and a quarter inch um, card pieces for the inside in basic white. Um, I cut so many of these. <laughs> so, and I'm sure you do too, right? If you like doing, um, you know, if you like doing a bunch of cards at one time, I'm so used to doing just one or two cards, you know, per demonstration. Sometimes I'll do three or four. It's very unusual for me to bang out 20 cards in an evening. Um, but this was a challenge I definitely wanted to do. So, I mean, you can see how perfectly Calypso Coral matches with this paper. Just those little pops in there. Um, just so absolutely perfect. Here you're seeing me trim down that designer series paper. And what I was going for was the four by five and a quarter and then cutting off that additional inch. And sometimes depending on the pattern that you're cutting, you're gonna have to be careful where you cut. I did actually make a cut on one of my uh, designer series paper pieces that I thought, oh, I shouldn't have cut that off, you know, and it didn't look right. So I ended up using a different piece. So just be mindful of, you know, the pattern and what you want to see on that card front, um, working, you know, with a three by five and quarter inch size that you're gonna be using there. I loved being able to see the owl, the tree, the fox, and just a little peak of the mountains there. I thought that that was really good for this card front. Um, and it's gonna be similar if you choose the bear paper pattern too for forest friends. So here you can see me adhering that other side. And you know we're just gonna keep going through with this process. I used the Nuts About Squirrels um, stamp set to stamp my sentiments for the Forest Friends cards because I don't have the Forest Friends stamp set yet. Uh, and I wanted a font that I thought would, you know, match really well to this artwork. And I thought that the Nuts About Squirrels fonts were perfect. Um, so that was what I ended up bringing in. And then Nuts About Squirrels also has a branch stamp. And I decided to use the branch stamp on one of the cards too. So totally up to you. You guys use, you know, the, the stamps that you think are best. But that was what I ended up doing. Um, on this and I used soft suede um, for the branch here and you'll see I messed up the first time so I kind of had to eyeball it and go back over it a second time um, but I salvaged it it was fine so if you are still with me at this point um, maybe you're crafting along with me uh, I don't know if you've ever shopped with me or not so let me just give you a little information about that. Um, I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I sell the products that I demonstrate on this channel. If you do not already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you are interested in receiving a catalog from me, I would be more than happy to send you a catalog. You can reach out to me. Um, you can email me. You can direct message me on either Facebook or Instagram and I will get back to you, um, and I'd be happy to send you a catalog. Uh, Stampin' Up! does three catalogs a year. We have our big catalog, which is our annual catalog that just released on May 3rd, which is why they are doing this incredible in-color starter kit special this month. Um, but they also have two mini catalogs, one for the holiday season uh, that will be coming out fairly soon, and then one for spring. Um, and that's every year. So whenever you place an order with me, uh, you will automatically receive a catalog if it has been within the calendar 12 months that the annual catalog is coming out or the mini catalogs are coming out and you have placed an order with me. If you have never placed an order with me and you're interested in doing that and you're not sure how to do that, there are several ways um, that you can order with me. The first way is I have a shop link in the description box of this video and you can click that link and it will take you to the online store where you can shop. Now, uh, every video I often reference, well, I, should, I shouldn't say often, I should say I always reference my blog um, because that is the hub of my business. That's where you can find all of the information about me. Um, of course, I list all of the information here in my videos too. But that is where you can find out all the latest and greatest. Uh, my, recent my, my recent blog posts, uh, you can find out if I have any specials going on, what my monthly host code is, 
Uh, that is where you can get more information on the upcoming paper pumpkin kits. Uh, if you're looking for measurements or anything like that, if you need a shop link, you can get the shop link right through my blog. And if you are looking to join my email list, you can join it from my blog. So just so that you know, you know, if you need that central location uh, where you can find out more information about shopping with me or um, getting information on these videos that I publish here, that is where you want to go. And I always have a link to my blog in the description box below as well. But if you want to shop and you're ready to shop and you want to go straight to the online store, you don't want to do the extra step of the blog, then there is a shop link included there as well. Now, when you spend $50 with me before tax, um, I have a host code gift that I send to everyone um, who places an order that's over $50 before tax if they use the host code. And I will often include a link in the description box that has the host code automatically embedded in it so that the host code is automatically populated into your cart when you're shopping in the online store. It just makes it easier than you having to type it in. But if you don't like to click links to go places, if you would rather manually go there and type in the information yourself, I understand that. And I always provide um, the host code number on my blog and I always have it posted on Facebook as well. So if you have any questions at all about that, I will, I will flash the host code up here on the screen so that you can see what the May host code is. Um, and there you go. So if you need any help placing an order um, or if you have any questions about how that works, just reach out to me. And it's the same for catalogs as well. Um, I created this YouTube channel and I do these tutorials because I want you to come here feeling inspired. I want you to have ideas as to how to use your products. Um, I want you to just enjoy the process. Um, you know, we have very busy lives and things can get, you know, really intense at times. And for me, I just think that crafting is, um, it's such a joy and it's a great way to spend that hobby time. Um, it's, it, it's important. And, you know, for me personally, I consider it self-care. I don't, I don't know. Everybody might have their own opinions about it, but it's just, I know it's good for me. I can tell you that. So when I created this channel, I just wanted, you know, to, for all of you to come here feeling like you either learned something or that you could walk away and confidently create what I created here um, in these videos. The color combination that I am using for these cards was such a surprise to me and I love it. So this is a soft sea foam card base. This is evening evergreen designer series paper. And for my accent pieces, instead of using basic white, I used very vanilla and I absolutely love how it turned out. So this is not a color combination that I would have used, you know, just on my own. Uh, soft sea foam is one of the coordinating colors for pretty prints. And when I was looking closely at it, I was like, is this white or is this like a lighter color green? And it turns out it's a lighter color green. Okay, so here is the final reveal of all of the cards. 21 in all. That first one is from Hues of Happiness. This one is for Lovely in Linen. This one is that uh, Daydream Host paper pack. This is Texture Chic. I take it back. I like this paper. I love how that card turned out. This one is from Sun Prince. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is T Boutique uh, Designer Series Paper. Here is Sun Prince. That was from The Live. Here is Forest Friends. Uh, one with the animals and one with just the nature scene. Here are Butterfly Kisses cards. And that incorporates some of the new in color. Here's He's the Man Designer Series paper for those of you still working on those Father's Day cards. Here's Abigail Rose Designer Series paper. Here is Perfectly Penciled Designer Series paper. Here is A Wash in Beauty Designer Series paper. And there is the Pretty Prince in the Evening Evergreen. 
Leave me a comment if you participated in a paper share, uh, especially for the annual catalog. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and stay tuned for the next video.